Good afternoon, everybody. How you doing? I am Slip Shock, and today we're going to talk about Peter Parker being dead in Marvel's Avengers. Wait, wait, he hear me out. Hear me out. First, let me let me show you this clip from my, my stream, right? Let me show you let me show you the stream. Then we can talk about it after the after the clip, okay? Okay? All right, he, he, watch the clip. We already have Peter Parker and Miles Morales in different games. Now, of course, they're not a tie to Marvel's Avengers, but they're there already. So what I would like is Peter Parker's dead in this, in, in Peter Parker died in a day. But Peter Parker died in a day. Miles Morales is not active and we get Ben Riley. Why not? He's a clone. Like made it so he like if by a day let okay let, 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 let's set the picture right let, let's set it up again. So by a day, Peter was already grown, um, and you know. <laughs> You know what I want? Dead Spider-Man. Yeah, yeah. Screw that guy. You don't need a spider -Man. Okay. So, I want to elaborate on that because I feel like even still at, like, the time that it is, I'm not even looking at the time at the moment, but the time that it is, right, I feel like you guys are going to be upset with me about it. So, I, I understand some of y'all be, be, be tripping, right? Be like, yo, I'm so I'm so tired of everything being about a day. Check this out, right? We already have Insomniac, Spider Man, Peter Parker. We also have Miles Morales, Spider Man. Okay. The biggest thing that allures most people, or some people who have the ever amount of people that like this game, the best part of this is the fact that they how they chart their own game. They bring up their own like story. So I want to say this specifically for thought processes. I want you, this is a thought experiment right here. A day, Peter Parker was at the helicarrier. He was at the Chimera and he died that day. No one knows he's Spider-Man at this point, but we have an active, we already have an active, um, like Ben Riley's Scarlet Spider. Nobody knows that Peter Parker was Spider-Man. We have active in the background Scarlet Spider that respected Peter with all his heart in this particular story. So after the five year jump, Ben Riley has put himself in the, the spotlight of Spider-Man for Peter Parker. Cause there was all, there will always be a, there always needs to be a Spider-Man, but there always needs to be a Peter Parker. So he does exactly what he needs to do. He's a little more vicious than Sp um, Peter Parker, but that's, that's his nature. He tries to live as Peter Parker as much as possible or as much as Spider-Man, Peter Parker, as Spider-Man as much as he can, but sometimes he gets a little bit, you know, and that's his redemption arc. His redemption arc is to try to live up to Peter Parker's memory as much as possible, but also have a deep distaste for the Avengers because on surface level, he only knows that it's the Avengers fault. So he has um, a little bit of a resentment towards the Avengers that is there because it's of the Avengers fault that Peter's dead. It is the Avengers fault that, that New York doesn't have their genuine Spider-Man. It's 
the Avengers' fault that Peter Parker's Spider Man, the friendly neighborhood Spider Man, is not there. I feel like that that'll that'll um add layers to that character and make it to where the interactions are kind of like I'm here at a necessity, not because I like you people. And then eventually he finds out the truth, and his interactions or his he's still jaded by the Avengers because no matter what people say, no matter how they, the Avengers still had their parts to play in a day. Now it might not have been his biggest part. It might not have been what the media led on to be, but the Avengers still had a part to play in a day. So I say this, we introduce Ben Riley as Peter Parker to the Avengers. They don't know he's been swapped, right? Okay. Something happens and, and they find out in the middle of the story campaign, that this is not Peter Parker. This is Ben Riley, and then they, they have this big confrontation like they did in the uh, helicarrier where all, all six members, well, all five members found um, what happened, what really happened to Cap, and they have their big falling out, and they have that, and they, and they bring that back full circle. I feel like that would add a very good, like a dramatic dynamic to, you know, just to their their story, and I feel like that'd be a really good one. Cause it's not every person who will be in the Avengers game, will be happy to be with the Avengers, but they're still going to do what is right. You feel me? All right. So uh, with that being said, if you made it to the end of this video, and I do appreciate you like, like talking or listening to this particular idea. And if you disagree, that's cool. But if you agree, if you have some modifications, please go ahead and leave that in the comments. All right. But let's be respectful to myself and everybody that may may respond, you know, because we don't we don't want to have that type of environment here. Okay? All right. See you later.